How's it going guys? It's Than from Tidal Gardens. This video is all about bubble corals. Bubble corals are stony coral from the genus Plerogyra. They're most often brought into this country from Indonesia, however they're found all across the Pacific. Bubble corals are one of those stony corals that many beginners in the hobby mistake for soft coral because of their fleshy body that often hides the fact that they have a skeleton. They come in two main varieties that are commonly seen. Ones that have round, grape-shaped bubbles, and others that have these irregular-shaped bubbles. Bubble corals have a very uncommon aesthetic, but it's not entirely unique in this hobby. For example, Cynarina have a clear, translucent, bubble-like appearance. Cynarina sort of look like a cross between a scolemia and a bubble coral. There's another variety of LPS that used to be called Indophilia. I think it's since been reclassified as a variety of Cynarina, but it too has this translucent body that's sort of bubble-like. I liken these guys to a clear, ghostly Acanthophilia, if you're familiar with that type of coral. Like just about every large polyp stony that we come across, bubble corals appreciate food every now and then. They have a single large mouth that can accept fairly large pieces of food. Here, we fed this guy a piece of fish. Bubble corals also eat different types of shrimp like mysis and krill, as well as pellet foods like faunamer and LPS. One thing to watch out for is handling these corals. They have a distinctive skeleton with large plate-like septa which are both sharp and edgy. The flesh of the coral is very delicate and often is wounded when the skeleton comes in contact with another hard object. This can lead to infections, which is how most of these corals end up dying. If you see signs of damage, it's a good idea to give the coral a quick dip in an iodine solution because the iodine acts as a disinfectant. It's not uncommon for these corals to be severely damaged during the shipping process if not done with care. We'd like to suspend them upside down to minimize contact with the shipping container. Having said that, bubble corals have incredible regenerative abilities. I've seen colonies that have been completely dead down to the bone and have come back. The tiniest slivers of flesh that remain, once stabilized, can form new healthy colonies and within a year or so regain impressive size. If you happen to have one that dies in your care, don't be in a huge hurry to throw away the skeleton. You may be surprised what grows from it in the future. Okay, that does it for bubble corals. You can find us online at tidalgardens.com, so be sure to check out what we've got going on for this and other types of corals. Also, find us on Twitter. We post up-to-the-minute updates on new corals that we have in stock. You can find us at twitter.com slash and hashtag TG live.